Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of The Listening Room, a show where I just kind of talk about and show some stuff that I'm listening to right now, new things I've gotten in, stuff I pulled off the shelves that I'm checking out, not necessarily stuff I'm reviewing or not reviewing at the moment. Okay, so I've got here a, boy, an assortment of stuff. Let's uh, tackle some of the newer things I've gotten in, right? Some of like the brand new releases. So first off, from Inside Out, so Inside Out, music slash sony uh the latest release the long awaited release from psychotic waltz the god shaped void some of you might remember these guys from the 90s right had a couple pretty notable releases and then just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth a very good kind of like atmospheric brooding progressive metal act this is pretty decent again only one listen i just got this in uh, but I'm liking what I'm hearing. Looking forward to digging this some more. You will be hearing more about this uh, over the next week or so. Okay, so expect like a full review of this uh, here and on the website. Uh, next up, also brand new, hot off the presses, Coat of Arms, the latest from legendary twin guitar act Wishbone Ash. I am liking this a lot. I'm a big fan of these guys. I know they've got a million albums, but uh, this is quite good. It's bluesy. It's kind of rocking. A little jazzy in spots, you know. I'm not sure how proggy it is, but uh, you know, it's it's they're more of kind of like a a real tasty majestic blues rock band these days. Nothing wrong with that, right? But a lot of really good Flying V and Gibson Les Paul dual guitar things going on here, which is uh, of course what you'd expect from Wishbone Ash. So again, more to come on that. Also, we got the latest uh, on Nuclear Bless Records from Avatarium. All right, the female fronted doom slash epic metal act. Started up by Leaf Edling, mem- uh, Candlemass member Leaf Edling, who I did not know is no longer in the band anymore. I was kind of, when I first got this, I you know I didn't, hadn't heard much about this, but I was looking through here, and I'm like looking to see him on the, uh, the band list here, the member list, and he's nowhere to be found other than a thank you for, you know, everlasting inspiration and supreme songwriting from the rest of the band to him. So, uh... I was kind of taken aback because uh, he was kind of, you know, he started the band. But uh, I have not listened to this yet. So it's it just came in. So uh, I'll let you guys, do, we'll be featuring this as well. Uh, same thing with this. We got Black Swan, Shake the World, the debut from Black Swan. Of course, you know, we got Robin McCauley on lead vocals, Red Beach on guitars. Who else is in this? brand new band all right or project band whatever you want to call it. this is on frontiers records all right so we got uh jeff pilson also on bass and the guy playing drums his name is escaping me now but he's in mr big matt star okay so robin mccauley red beach jeff pilson and matt star uh pretty hot lineup i had heard a couple tracks from this prior to actually receiving it I'm liking what i'm hearing pretty heavy a lot of crazy guitar work and mr mccauley's sounding better than ever man i if you haven't kept up with him uh with the michael schenker fest all right he still brings it big time uh what else all right so uh i picked this up only because you know i have long had uh, a lot of the or most of if not all of the dixie dreg stuff uh over the span of many years and um but I was looking through my CDs because I want to do like a ranking the studio albums. And I realized that there's a couple of them I don't have on CD. I always had on either cassette or LP back in the day. So I, I figured, all right, I got to rectify that because got to have them all. So I saw that uh, a couple of them are out of print separately. But then I found, of course, the wonderful BGO Records did a three-in-one set, okay, which has Dregs of the Earth, Unsung Heroes, and Industry Standard. I needed the first and the last. I already had Unsung Heroes, but I'll find a home for that. Um, But uh, here you have all three in one two-disc set. I am very happy to have uh, the entire Dixie Dregs catalog. Now, the only one I don't have is the, uh, the original, 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 The Great Spectacular. But basically what they did was they took uh, all the songs from that and that they all turned up on their next two releases. So I don't really think I need that because I got all that, uh, all that stuff. But um, I'm a huge Dregs fan, so um, happy to have that whole collection now. What else we got here? All right, here's a cool, cool one. 
uh, from the early 80s, a, uh, I believe a one-and-done band called Steeplechase. All right, this is the re-release on uh, Roadrunner Records slash Metal Mind Productions. Oh, geez. A number of years ago. I love this album. Love this band. It's a shame that they kind of never really did much of anything else. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure if this was their only release, or they may have had one or two others. I'm not really sure. Uh, but this one is fantastic. Kind of reminds me of kind of like early 80s Kansas meets same period Sticks. All right. Maybe throw in a little angel or aviary in there. Real, you know, memorable choruses and vocal melodies. The singer sounds a lot like Steve Walsh. Cranking guitars, right? Nice mix of keyboards. It's kind of proggy in spots, but it's just good kind of uh, hard rock and pomp rock. All right? A lot of great tunes on here. Lot, I mean, and you only love me. My mind's made up. My mind's made up. If I'm not mistaken, that was somewhat of an FM song back in the day uh shangri-la don't go move on only human just really really good stuff i love this a lot very enjoyable all right next up i i've had a few cds from this band over the years but i never had their live album i know a lot of people on here especially when i was doing the the classic live album wars people are like well what about the head east live album it's amazing so i finally found it bought it you know thanks to uh our folks over at rock candy all right always putting out all sorts of great reissues uh, this is a very fine, very fine live album. Digging it a lot. All right. Um, if I had had this earlier, I definitely would have featured this in the live album war because I think it warrants it. A lot of really fun, hard rocking songs. All right. And it just, it sounds like a live album. And you hear the crowd and they're talking to the crowd throughout. It's just, it, it's just, you know, classic, classic stuff. Late 70s live album. Gotta love it. Head East live. Digging it. Uh, here we got Rubicon, pretty cool West Coast horn band from the late 70s, featuring on guitar and bass none other than Brad Gillis and Jack Blades, who shortly thereafter would go on to Night Ranger, all right? This contains their only two albums in one set. Very cool, if you could just picture kind of like... Um, Similar period, you know, mid-late 70s Chicago, blood, sweat, and tears with a healthy dose of kind of funk. A lot of horns going on, you know, funky licks and rhythms. Uh, I like it. It's a fun, fun collection of a couple albums. All right. Uh, what else we got here? All right. Been trying to get into the Caravan stuff, you know. We got uh, Nick was nice enough to send me that nice box set of all their classic albums. So I went and also picked up uh, their first Caravan. Like in this, this one's a little bit different than some of the other ones, but I... I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, I also got Blind Dog at St. Dunstan's. Another cool album. All right. This one's got some cool jazzy stuff going on in it. Very enjoyable. What else? Uh, how about this one? Vertu. Self-titled. Thanks to Eric for suggesting this one. Kind of a little like a fusion supergroup, you know? Featuring uh, Stanley Clark and Lenny White. Okay, Karen Briggs on violin, Rachel Z on keyboards, and none other than Richie Kotzen on guitars and vocals. I like it. It's a cool mix of like tasty 70s style jazz fusion with some more kind of like uh, funky stuff and what have you. Vertu, V-E-R-T-U. I had never really heard about these guys, but of course, well familiar with all those folks involved. What else? All right, how about I got some, uh, was missing some Magnum stuff in my uh, rock art in my collection. All right, Magnum rock art. There you go. On the 13th day. What else? And this one, Lost on the Road to Eternity. Look at this Rodney Matthews cover art, man, on these. Gotta love it. This is a great one. Let me just check this out. Look at that. Beautifulness. Love it. Uh, great stuff. Uh, all the Magnum albums that I have uh, are amazing. These are amazing. Just a great, great underrated band. All right, last but not least. Uh, again, you know, we talked about this a lot of times before. How, you know, in my life I've gone out and bought, like, greatest hit sets and, uh, you know, after shortly after or at some point after i'm like ah, oh, that's really good but i know they have a lot of other really good tunes that i like so i wound up and going out buying the catalog so i've had a crosby stills nash and young uh 
greatest hits collection for an eternity. You know, it's got like 10 or 12 tunes on it or whatever. And then I started like looking at what's on there and like what's not on there, specifically from those first two albums. And I just decided to go out and get the uh, original Crosby, Stills, and Nash on CD. And then Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Deja Vu. All right. Which, for me, the bulk of the stuff that I want anyway from these guys is from these two albums. And they're both absolute classics. And there's stuff on the albums that I didn't have on the greatest hits, which I needed. So, uh, you know, I'm going to kind of end it there. And I'm going to end it there for the show as well. So, uh, anyway, this is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we are the mighty YouTube all the damn time. What do we got coming up today? Uh, probably no rank in the studio albums for a few days. Um, you know, we've got uh, stuff going on here on the family side. My father-in-law has passed away, just so everybody knows. So uh, we've got a lot of things to take care of. I'm going to squeeze out a couple because uh, I'm here kind of working and uh, hanging out at the house while a lot of things are being taken care of. And uh, But uh, I'll be probably away and doing stuff with the family over the next few days. So I'm uh, going to probably see no content for the rest of the week. But uh, I'm going to try and drop a couple of uh, new product releases in today. Got the new live thing from Rory Gallagher, a couple other things. So stay tuned for those. All right, guys. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.